part of the West Desert in almost two years. This is my first time bringing this new car out here. Came out here in the Subaru probably seven times. Love coming out here, just haven't had a chance the last little bit. As you can see, kind of an inversion today. Still beautiful weather though. So right now we are south of Utah Lake, headed into the Vernon Forest District, passing through Genola. Alright, that's Mammoth Peak right in front of us. Gonna be passing through that mountain range, little mining town of Eureka, at the top of the summit. And we'll be That's the silver mine back there. Still climbing up this hill. motorcycling road. It really is. Entering the town of Eureka. Tintic High School. Just crossed into Juab County. This is the summit. Just leaving Eureka. And there's Rush Valley right there. Beautiful time of year to come out here. It's not 110 degrees yet, and it's not cold either. Just pulled over here. Mammoth mine is up there. The Tintic mine is up there. Big Valley. Gonna be heading up that way in a second. So if you continue straight on this road, it takes you through Delta out to Great Basin National Park. I'll be doing a video on that here in a couple months. There's still a lot of snow up there, so I'll wait for that. Little Sahara sand dunes are down there a little ways. A lot of cool stuff to explore down there. A couple more months. Right now we're on Highway 36, headed up towards Tooele. This is a place I like to stop when I come out here. Right next to the railroad tracks. Every time I come out here, there's always more graffiti on that old railroad silo. Pretty cool. Union Pacific tracks are right there. Seen a couple trains out here before. It's not as active as the rail line over in Salt Lake. Salt Lake about 90 miles north. About halfway to Vernon. So where the tracks cross goes up towards Salt Lake. That's the town of Vernon out there. Welcome to the 
the town of Vernon. Active population of about 250. Got a little gas station. We have a school and a church, of course, and a post office. And that was Vernon. Continuing on to the Pony Express Trail. One of my favorites. Flat Top Mountain right there. Wonder why they call it Flat Top. I haven't really seen it. Tipanogos way the heck out there. That's the mountain I was filming in the beginning of this video. It's just amazing how far you can go and still see that mountain. I'm only going down this road to that sign. This is the Pony Express Trail and it goes for like 1500 miles just dirt across the Intermountain West. I'll show you guys a map of it up here. Vernon's right there. And Eureka's down here. This is where we came in on US 6. Then this road goes all the way across the West Desert of Utah, across the Salt Flats. It goes all the way into Nevada, crosses Nevada all the way into California. Then it goes back across. We're going to go to Faust. That's my next stop. Not going to go across it though. And then we're going to end today State Route 73, but that's still a long way away. Going to head up towards Dugway after this. A lot of people get lost out here, so they have to set all these rules. Here's the road. Gorgeous valley. Love coming out here. There's Provo down there, as I said before. There's Timpanogos. Flat Top Mountain. And then Tooele is up there, Salt Lake City. And the Salt Flats are over there. Still about an hour from that. Alright, heading east now on the Pony Express route. This is the small town of Faust. Population of maybe 70. I'm only going to go until the pavement ends. I'm not going to dare go on gravel roads. I don't have a spare tire yet. Here's a Union Pacific Crossing. No trains yet. Timpanogos out there again. Provo. Stopping here to take a picture of my car. Railroad tracks. You can hear some people shooting up there. Great place to come and shoot, actually. There's some people down there, too. Had to stop and take a picture of my car. Perfect place to do it. There's no cars out here or anything. You can kind of see the North Mountains now. And there's the pass we're going to be going over here in a couple minutes. I'm just going to go down until the pavement ends on this road. This road used to be paved all the way across to Fairfield, but they tore it out because it cost too much to keep fixing the potholes. Pavement ends right there. So this is where I stop. And 
Next stop, Rush Valley Mountains. Fire danger is so bad out here. It's amazing that people even think to bring exploding targets out here. Crossing over the tracks again. They go way up there. I guess people ride their dirt bikes down the trails for the service trucks. They don't want people going down there. This is the Foss station for the Pony Express. I try to walk and read the signs, but that mud is thick. That up there is the Tooele Army Depot. We'll get more of that in a minute. Back on Highway 36, heading out towards Highway 199, gonna head over towards the Dugway area. Still paralleling the railroad tracks. Alright, turning on the Highway 199. That's the town of Rush Valley up there. Another mountain pass here in a minute. So this is Rush Valley. Population of about 300. Tooele is just another few more miles north. Well, probably about 20. Still on Highway 199. Climbing up the summit towards Dugway. That's what we just came up right there. Look how high up we are. Still climbing. Alright, we're at the summit. 6,400 feet. There's the UDOT traffic cam I use to see how the weather is out here. This road was covered in snow last week. So, really nice weather. Two straight days of clear skies. It's the nicest weather we've had in five months. And this a rapid descent. salt flats way out there. Coming into Dugway now. Still going down. Coming into the town of Terra. Alright, so down there, the town of Dugway, I'm not even going to bother going down there to try and get into the town because you need a military clearance to get in. What it is, it's a military base, and just over that far hill you can see, there is an airstrip. And the Dug it's called the Dugway Proving Grounds, and it became world famous when they accidentally shipped live anthrax to, I don't know, 30 cities around the world and that's how the Dugway Proving Ground became famous. It's kind of become Utah's version of Area 51. UFO enthusiasts come out here and if it wasn't for that people would know people wouldn't know about the Dugway Proving Grounds. I'm not even gonna bother going down there. I'm a little short on time today so I'm gonna head back up over the mountain I just came through and head back towards Provo Summit. Whoa, 
Look at that view. It'd be a much better view if it wasn't for the pollution. But welcome to Utah. This would be a great place to come look at stars. Because you're far enough away from Salt Lake, the light pollution won't affect you. And there's no other big towns nearby to really give off light pollution. A little bit more of the view from 6,400 feet. Clover Springs Campground down there. Might have to come out there during the summer. Mount Nebo way out there. And that's another place I'm going this summer to do a video. It's a nice little paved road that goes up and over it. Nice little pull out just above the town of Rush Valley. Man, the inversion's bad today. Not as bad as it is in January, though. Alright, just passed through Rush Valley. Coming to the end of State Route 199. Thought that was a cool shot of the power lines. Alright, this is the end of 199, that's the 36 right there, public land starts right there, goes all the way out to Vernon where we just were, there's the power lines again, those run from Delta all the way up to Salt Lake, and Salt Lake is just over those mountains. Alright, going to head north on the 36 to get to the 73, and then it'll take me back to Provo. Our last view of the tracks here. Never saw a train. Usually see at least one, but I guess it's Saturday. And just like that, we're at the 73. So if you continue north on this road, it takes you up to Tooele, and that's how you can get to Salt Lake. And this is State Route 73. This is the entrance to the Tooele Army Depot. It's just a branch off of the Dugway Proving Grounds. It's where they store ammunition. Love coming out here. Gorgeous. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day. A good view of the Tooele Army Depot. Another good view of it. It's actually pretty big. It goes for miles. From here all the way out to the 36, it's all private government land. It's a big piece of land that's private. And up there is the mining town of Mercer. Not really sure what they mine up there, but I know it's not gold. So it's probably silver or tungsten. Love coming out here, like I said. It's not too far of a drive traffic. It's hard to believe that two million people are just on the other side of that mountain. So remember when I stopped and turned around because of the gravel road? Well, this is the other side of it. It's going to meet up with the 73 here in about 60 seconds. You can kind of see the dust plumes coming from it. All the cars that are out there. I'll take my car out there sometime this summer. I just got to get a spare tire first. There's no cell service out here, so if I get a flat, I'm screwed. Alright, here's the other end of that dirt road, Pony Express Trail. 
Look at how many people bring their razors and dirt bikes out here. Very cool. Here's a better view without all the dust. Had to wait for all those trucks to go by. A lot of people park out here. There are thousands of miles of dirt trails around this area. This valley is huge. There goes a dirt biker. I'll be back out here soon. Not much to see down that road anyway. Gorgeous out here. All right, headed back out on the 73. The Pony Express Road is 14 miles long. There's Timpanogos right there. We'll be back in civilization here in a few minutes. Back heading east on the 73. Utah Valley's over there. Salt Lake Valley's up there. Population of Utah Valley is about 700,000. Population of the Salt Lake Valley is about 1.5 million. All right, passing through a couple of little small towns before we get to Provo. This is the town of Fairfield. Not sure what the population is. I'm sure it's around 1,500. Flat Top Mountain again. Beautiful day. This is the town of Eagle Mountain, one of the fastest growing towns in Utah. Most of it's down there. The area that I live is the fastest growing. Mountain is the second fastest growing. Another was tossed from the game. videos from a couple months ago that's where that big wildfire was so I started this video with a shot attempt and I'm gonna end it thanks for watching my next video should be out in San Diego for MLB opening day